everyone, my name is Shamir Chukday, and welcome back to the second episode of AMP. This podcast is all about the coming generation, where we talk about our ideas, our problems, and our solutions. In today's day and age, humanity is going through so many problems. Pollution, global warming, animal extinction, and so much more. Our lives are being put to the test due to our mistakes. And all the pressure has been put to the next generation. Kids nowadays are being pressured with so much more than they need to. Teens have been placed with the idea that they need to come up with a solution, even though each teen is already finding their way through life. The opinions and ideas of the younger generation need to be heard, seen, and amplified. So for this episode, our topic is social media. So social media has been a conversation for the past 15 to 20-ish years, and platforms like TikTok and Instagram have gotten bigger and bigger as the days come. With teens being influenced by different content creators, what's going to happen in the future and what bad things can come from it? This is actually a very interesting topic because there's so many things that I can talk about. Uh, just we For now, we can literally just talk about how TikTok, how, not TikTok, but how social medias have been blowing up recently. Different platforms like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all like... Uh, Snapchat, all all these different platforms have been blowing up. And more and more people are using different platforms every day. Um, so there, now we have different points to talk about. One of our points that we have set out is how different platforms create different types of media. So, like I said before, there's literally tens, like multiples of different platforms that people are using, whether it be texting, whether it be making videos, whether it be like just typing, anything. So there's different platforms like TikTok, for example, that started this new trend, like uh, the short videos, so essentially shorts. Now you have these things called like Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, everyone's hopping on the bandwagon of these short videos. All because TikTok has been blowing up. People have made millions. People have like literally devoted their entire time as a job towards TikTok. So, uh, so there's different tattoo influencers that go through with this. So, for example, you'll have... T- let's just look at TikTok, for example. TikTok has multiples of different uh, uh, content creators. Some will be very weird. Some will be just dancing, some of them will be just making jokes, some will be memes. It's all in one giant platform, and it, and there's a reason why people enjoy it. It's because TikTok's algorithm has essentially changed the game, or changed how uh, social media works. So this is going through different ideas and different topics. So we can look at Instagram now. Instagram, people have found out a way to use pictures to create entire stories. Instagram, people use Instagram for a lot of things, maybe uh, whether it be sports news, whether it be cars, whether it be food. All of those are essentially creating a whole different platform. They literally, Instagram, it's a whole platform in itself. And people are finding new and new ways to work through with this. You can create literal stories, like maybe you can show how maybe Lowry got traded from the Toronto Raptors just off one picture. You can show someone's entire legacy just off one picture. It can so- either be someone's like entire life savings or maybe a cool meal you ate last Sunday. So you can use different types of media to show different types of things that are going around. Like maybe you found something cool online and you just want to put it on your story. Or maybe you uh, saw a really nice car and you want to show it to everyone. Or you got a nice new pair of shoes and you want to show all your friends. So you can use different types of media to for different occasions. Some people have used the media to make money. Some people have made stupid amounts of money. Uh, look at TikTok, for example. I keep on referring back to TikTok because for the past two years, it's been blowing up so much and it's caused so many weird weird and cool trends uh some of those trends may really questionable some of those trends might be fun for example uh if we look back at 2016 for example people call 2016 as the year of trends because during youtube for example there were so many different trends that were going around in that year there was the mannequin challenge there was like uh 
Like, there were so many different things. There's like the cinnamon challenge. There's so much stuff. And some of those people tried to do those challenges, and some of those resulted very badly. See, now, the more people would use media, the more, or a bigger fan base, they're creating a bigger fan base the more and more they use it. So some people can create millions and millions of people to look at every word they say. And then, like I said in the first episode, look at Jimmy Donaldson, for example. Look at Mr. Beast. He's using his fan base to help save the planet. Other people are using their fan bases to make more money. Some people have decided to branch out to different uh, different uh, platforms. Uh, there's also, uh, about last year, I heard that some people were using uh, social media to tell people about COVID-19. Look at that now. If people, if we weren't told about COVID-19 any sooner, then who knows what could have happened. Uh, so, once again, our fan base is something that we can control ourselves. Our fan base is something that might literally change someone's life. So different fan bases, once again, different fan bases work through different platforms. Uh, there may be some fan bases who maybe use it for research, some will use it for entertainment, some use it for school. Social media is something that's insanely huge. Not even just social media, just the internet and electronics overall is something that has been literally insane to humanity, humanity and how we've evolved. Take a look at Google, for example. Google is a company that started off in 1998. And the creators started it off with the idea to store the world's information and keep it organized. Look at Google now. Almost 25 years later, Google is, one, Google is literally the biggest cooperate, cooperation in the world. Google has uh, so many different platforms that we use for school, like Google Docs. Not many people use Word anymore. Microsoft Word is something that or maybe our parents use, or maybe our parents still use. But most people nowadays, our generation, our teens, are using Google. Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Forms, everything. But Google has branched off more from that. Google has created so many different products. Some might affect you not... Some might help you in real life. Some might help you electronically. Some might help your social life. Like, who knew? Uh, Google Fi. Take a look at Google Fi, for example. Google Fi is a telephone service company. Who knew Google had a telephone service company? And I've done my research. Over 277 million people use Google Fi wirelessly. And I've even looked at the prices. Their prices aren't bad. Like, they're, Google's branching off to so many different new things. Look at Google Nest. Google, uh, Google Nest is something that you can, essentially, it's a home system. You can place all these different products around your home. There's, like, the giant screen. There's the Google Home. And they would just help you go through your day. Google Home, for example. Google Home is something that's literally the internet in a small little box. You can ask Google your Google Home anything. You can add, you can literally play games on it. There's uh there's in my Google Home I have a Google Home and it literally I have a full on uh, RPG game in my Google Home, and it's amazing how it's just a simple structure of words and code can translate to so much more in our brains. Okay, so rebounding back to a topic I said near the start of the episode. Stupid trends. Some trends have been very dumb. Some trends have been very successful. For example, there was this trend going around about last year. People started eating Tide Pods. Explain how that one works. Tide Pods are used to help wash your dishes or maybe clean your clothes. Different soap, chemicals, there's so much stuff inside it. People are eating it. It's really weird. I've seen this video online where some guy literally has a pan. is frying them up. Tossing them up in the air. And it's disgusting. I don't understand how people do that willingly. 
just to get Continu- maybe continuing a on with years. our topic about trends, essentially. One big show has been going around for the past couple months, maybe two, three months, called Squid Game. Squid Game might be one of the most popular shows in the world right now. Even right now, even after like two months. It's on, I believe it's Netflix's most earning show. Uh, YouTube has been literally all Squid Game, Squid Game, Squid Game. Look, I talked about Mr. Beast last episode. Last episode was a full Mr. Beast thing. And he broke YouTube by recreating Squid Game in real life. It cost him almost $4 million. And he was getting insane amounts of views. He got almost 40 million views within 30 minutes of the video uploading. Literally, that's 10 million views per 10 minutes. That's every million, every minute, every 60 seconds, there's a million people watching a video. Please tell me how someone who has that much influence on so many people can't make a difference. Not just Mr. Beast, anyone. Anyone with enough fan base, with enough followers, with when enough people, when when you're following enough people, you can literally break YouTube. You can break the internet. Going back to Squid Game, Squid Game has been something that's been blowing up and it's constantly going higher and higher. So look, I'm gonna. Uh, this episode is coming to a close. So my last thing to say is that trends are something that fluctuate. But we can control how they fluctuate. Look at, like, I'm, right now in my business class, I'm studying stocks. I'm watching how the stocks that I'm investing are going up and down, up and down. And then I'll go on YouTube and I'll see how different videos, their uh, their stats, their earnings will go up and down, up and down. Different YouTubers have literally changed their entire, the entire structure of their videos just to get more views. Look at Preston, for example. Preston Plays was one of my favorite YouTubers back in 2015. He used to create Minecraft videos. He used to do uh, uh, COD videos. He used to do so much. But nowadays, if you look at his channel, you can see his channel is kind of weird. He's done a lot more videos with his wife and his sisters and his brothers. But a lot of his videos aren't necessarily the same structure. A lot of his videos will be like last to leave, like I'm trapped inside a prison, or maybe my uh, friend took something from me. Someone, every YouTuber, or every person who uses their platform creates their own structure. People just find their way to get there and people watch. People create millions of dollars just by clicking on a video and spending their time. So this episode is now ending. Thank you for listening. Have a good day and goodbye.